I showed you the questions. Uh, I would like to thank mm -hmm. um, those of you who. Uh, okay, let me put it this way: two of the questions were donated by fans, and uh, yeah, I like um, them. Which, they, which which two questions? Um, I'll tell you when we get to them. But, yeah. But um, thanks to those people who did that, uh, and. Uh, I guess we should just get to it. I'm going to ask you the first one, but first, allow me to thank you again for uh, coming back for part two. And uh, Glad to be back. Uh, I, I always wanted to be back. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I enjoy our banter. I enjoy our little uh, co-op sessions on here. So. Um, oh, me too. They're uh, always fun. Uh, except for that zombie game, I'm not playing it again. Uh, <laughs> but so hey, we got a new one coming up, though. Yeah, yeah, we I know. got a new one coming up. You could tell, you could tell them about that later. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Um, okay, so Killer Chronic. First question: What do you think? Okay, this question. Sorry, people. This question was suggested by uh, Krafin, uh one of my one of my uh, beloved viewers of the stream, and uh, I really like this one. So, uh, yeah, what do you think is a common misconception that outsiders have on the detractor community? Um, That's a good one. See. Most recently, Keemstar was quoted as saying or using the word obsessed. Uh, would you... Do you think that's a fair word for detractors? I, I don't know about that, personally. Like... In a way. Because there are some people out there that are pretty obsessed. There are those, yeah. Uh, with it. Um, but gen generally, I don't, I don't really think, so. I don't really think we're all that obsessed. We like to point and laugh, uh, yeah. and point out his bullshit. This is it. Um, I can only speak for myself, but once I discovered what he was doing, I never liked the idea that he was treating people the way he was and I wanted more people to know about it. Um, I figured I have a way of uh, spreading awareness so I wanted to. Um, obsessed? I don't know about that. Uh, do you think there are any other words? I think I was more intrigued. I think you were yeah. more intrigued. Um, which is which is fair like we all we we all have our points where we just get intrigued like we see something and then we kind of hang on for to it for a while we're mm -hmm. we're not obsessed we're just intrigued we're we're wondering how this is happening right i i often thought that this guy can't be real that he's reading a script or nobody can be that moronic like yeah i look at him like a zoo animal in a cage and um and i think i think this is the one of the best um examples is there's a viral tweet going around about bill yeah that that hasn't been posted by phil it right. was some tiktoker wondering Th this is this person's first foray, first viewing mm -hmm. of DSP. Mm. And DSP is playing the new Zelda game. Uh, pardon me for not knowing the name. There's so many of them out there. Kingdom. Um, yeah, yeah, I know the one. I know the one. Yeah, yeah, it's Kingdom of something. Um, and the person is literally saying... How can you even play, like, you have to be, like, acting right. to be this bad. You have to be trying to be this bad. Exactly. It's, 
it defies that, that's the, Go on. He's not trying. Like, that is... That's what doesn't And I have a feeling that... Go on. Sorry. Those four million people are now intrigued. I in in one way or another. Eight million? You know, now? they... they Okay, it's jumped up since the last time I seen the, you know, mm. seen the results. But when I seen it, it was like at four million, and it wasn't even a day. <laughs> yeah. A tweet about or, uh, uh, a post about Phil getting four million something in less than a day is just fucking amazing to me. Already today, he's been uh, banning people from mentioning Zelda in the chat. Um. How can you ban somebody from mentioning a game that you are playing? Well, it's him. It's him. Uh, oh, wow. Um, yeah, he's not, you know, I don't know what he's talking about today because I'm not watching this, like, to listen to. But I've noticed. Uh, I can guess. Yeah. Just I, by his flailing arms, I can guess. He did bitch about Street Fighter Six, saying that, it's not Go fair figure. on the noobs like him that there are people out there who got it early. But, uh, you know, if he's such a he's hardcore been player, he, he should have had it he when could, Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. now, they got a, now they got a button system that actually helps him out. He could just sit there and mash one button. Yep. Uh, modern controls. Um, yep. I'm, what, I've already pre-ordered that game. I'm turning modern controls off as soon as I get it. GCG mentioned the modern controls as well. Big ups to him. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, Phil, uh, modern controls, old school controls, either way, he's in trouble. He, uh, mm -hmm. he won't be playing it for long. So um, I hope all of you guys manage to get a match against him. But uh, I give it but two But apparently they do have... But apparently they do have uh, one drawback when it comes to uh, modern controls. Mm -hmm. You deal out like 20... Per I think they said it was like 20% less damage. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I, I, th I think it's 20%. If that's true. I'm I not 100... Per I'm not 100% on, on the percentage, but I know, I know they get like... They give you a handicap by letting you do the combos without learning them but they also give you a drawback by giving you a debuff on on your uh power output okay i, I like the sound of that um being a traditional player myself i like the sound of that uh so so oh uh, one other thing. so either way it feels gonna be bitching is do you think um going back to the first question do you think there are other opinions that outsiders or normies have about detractors? Do you think they s there are other things in us that they see without getting to know us? Mm, probably that we're weird. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, we're, we're literally... we If we see something that could be, like, DSP-related... I've I've been known to do this, but I've been known to bust up into you know someone's conversation with a GIF of DSP. Mm -hmm. This are a lot of people have done that. Like I know a lot of people in the community have done that. That's that's just a common thing. And they see this person, and they're like, "The fuck?" Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I've done it because I wanted to be like. Oh, well, hey, oh, you don't know who this guy is? Well, let me tell you something. And, and then it goes mm -hmm. from there. Either they want to listen or they're like, so anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is more but often But no, I, th I, 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 just, I just often think that people think, you know, that are out, that don't know about this side of the community is, I, I just think that they're, they think that we're weird. Yeah, here um, we are looking at a dude, laughing at a dude every day, but we don't like him. What I see is DSP's fans are very quick to say, "Oh, we should leave him alone," or um, "We don't have lives because 
we're so like forthright in attacking him or whatever um again i i what i see phil doing i disagree with strongly and um Mm -hmm. i can't walk away from that what he's doing to people and what he's allowing them to do for him in his name it's it shouldn't be allowed on social media Um, yeah and and another thing is if how can it really be called attacking if we're just throwing what he says right back at him well they don't hear it when when he says it they don't i i I know that's because they're dumb they're Mm -hmm. hold into the pignosis exactly so um, they can't be helped. So when I started, I thought they could, but uh, uh, one, it's not my job to help anybody, and two, um, fuck them. Um, yeah, they. Were, I mean, you've tried to help. Yeah, a lot of people have tried to help. They but... were very mean, and like they would just lash out in his name. They don't think before they speak, and they see mm-hmm. us as. Phil's enemy trying to harm his career and his livelihood. Um, right. But again, what he's doing to them is too much. I, I just couldn't walk away from it. I. Yeah. I, I it, mean, I almost but he feel, did. He did something. He did something recently that kind of ticked me off. Which was. Um, when he was he was bitching about something. Of course, it was, you know, money, money related. Mm-hmm. He doxed one of his viewers. Big up, Ryan. In a sense. Yeah. Um, Mark. Mm. From Australia. Oh, okay. And then he immediately dipped the moment that he said, Mark is from Australia. He dipped. Mm-mm. He left the camera on. Said he has to blow his nose real quick. He dipped. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, duty. Duty. Uh, uh, posted the the video. Okay. Uh, Cause um, Derek became a sub, not a gift sub, a paid sub. Huh? Oh. That was also up in that little short video, too. All right. Intriguing. It shows up at the bottom of the screen. He does, Of course, Phil doesn't call it out. He doesn't shout it out. But it's down there at the bottom of the screen. Mm-hmm. Well. So, yeah. Yeah, Phil, Phil yet again. Letting us know the name of another one of his... Um, money givers well, way to go phil i i say fucking idiot i say let him keep drinking because uh i want more names to come out um but anyway what we will do is move on to the next question because i you mentioned derek perfect uh segue yeah. so question number two i like this one uh I came up with this, but Dominic was there when I did, and he said, oh, I should use it. So, uh, big ups to Dominic, and uh, let's go. Uh, What would Phil do if Derek was obsessed with Kat? Would Would he disown him or tell him off and finally address his behavior? Like... Mm. If Derek was pervy towards his wife, would he finally yeah. admit to seeing what Derek does? You um, know what? Out of all the questions, this one had had me mulling over it the most. Okay. Because honestly, I don't know. Because Derek is actually one of Phil's last true fans. Yeah. That's the only reason why he's getting away with all that he is. Well, that's my assumption. He's getting away with a lot of the shit that he's 
you know, been been getting away with on on Phil's streams mm -hmm. and outside. You know, the 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 fact that Phil can a actively ignore what Derek is doing. The way I he... think. Go on. Sorry. I honest. I. I honestly think that Phil would actually ignore Derek. He's good at ignoring. He's really good at it. Uh, but suppose he showed up in chat demanding Cat, saying, Hey, Phil, put her on camera. Uh, where is she? What is she wearing? Uh, I want to see. I think he her. might shadow ban. I you... think he might shadow ban. Derek? You think he would? Uh, he might. Like, hey, Phil. Because, I mean, I mean, Phil... I will give Phil this. He... I don't... I, I don't think he's that much of a cook. No. Like, I know he's a... I know he's a fucking cook in, in, in a sense, but... I don't think he's that much of a cook to let someone talk about his wife like that okay well let me say this to you right let me say this suppose okay so you're phil and i'm mm -hmm. jade and i i show up and i go hey it's time to see your wife uh i will pay you a thousand dollars to put your wife on in front of the camera uh I, w I just want to oh, see her. On. I just want to see her for like two minutes. Just, just put her there in front of the camera. I'll pay you money. The, the. Hold on. <laughs> that one had me going the way you started that. Do you think Phil? It time would do wife. That? <laughs> Sorry. It time wife. It time wife. It time wife. Do you think? <laughs> Phil would do that though. Uh, um, use like he revealed the cat. He might as well reveal the other one. I think I think he would do what he's done to other people. Ban him, and then if you want to get unbanned, message me behind the scenes. Okay, and apologize. <laughs> Give me money. Hmm. Because he's actually demanded people for money just to get unbanned. <laughs> it's, it's a legit offer, though. I mean... And no, it was it was it was even before that Call of Duty time. Wait a he's, minute, he's done this in in the past before. But w wait a minute, though. I want to see your wife for two minutes for a grand, Phil. <laughs> he would do it. Why? Why ban me? I'm giving you a grand to see your wife for two minutes on camera. I don't care how. If she... if any if anything, he'll probably send a picture be behind the scenes. Oh well, that's lewd. I no, I I'm... no, not not lewd, but not lewd, but like just a normal ass picture or selfie of her, just from the back watching the TV. <laughs> yeah, playing Skyrim. Right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. You know, I think he would prob probably feel like he should say no, but uh, he might turn around and but say no. I, okay. I, I... <laughs> but no, I actually think that he might um, either ignore or shadow ban, and then have them message him behind the scenes it's oh. one of the two okay um <laughs> but i don't think he would actually actively say something and i don't think he would um bring her on just for that because that in itself would get him banned it oh i didn't think about that okay he he, he he knows how to work the system, and yeah, he he's literally offering sexual 
at least in Derek's eyes, sexual pleasure yeah. for money. Money. Uh, anyway, this is getting a little. So what, wait, would that also make Phil a pimp? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> um, I didn't think about this before asking. Uh, so let's move on to the next question. First of all, uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. You're listening to Pig Explaining with myself, Sunspot, and a returning Killer Chronic. Uh, a stuffy Killer Chronic. <laughs> bless you. Um, what we'll do is go to the third question, which is of all of DSP's content, is or was there anything of value? Anything with true potential, like a really good idea he should have stuck with? People have mentioned this before, and I actually kind of have to agree on it because I was actually thinking about that today. I looked over the question questions again and looked at that question, and for like a good 15 minutes, I was like, KO Gaming was actually pretty decent. Yeah. Before he had got lazy and had all the fan submitted stuff. Okay. He was actually editing. Mm -hmm. He actually sounded like a human being. Yeah. Like tell like he actually sounded passionate about oh. doing the review. There yeah. was emotion. Yeah. There I... was a lot of emotion in those. But also, I kind of want to say this. I know they're scripted, which is completely fine. Mm hmm But did he write them? To be, look, to For be Phil. honest, can you see this buffoon writing anything other than a shopping list? I can't even see him writing a shopping list. Can you honestly see him sitting down? Like, what, what, whenever it was, back then or now, can you honestly see him sitting down and writing out a script or a speech unless it was uh, dedicated to begging or uh, to glean his sympathy or, or, or you know, a motive? Could you see him writing uh, like Project 7 or something to be funny or to be entertaining? Uh, no. <laughs> um, Panda, I reckon if anything... A strong... When it comes to Project 7, I have a strong feeling that he was, you know, kind of kind of a crucial part in it. Well, he sees that. But, but, but at the same time, I can't. Like, I, I, I think he came up with a lot of the ideas for it, which well, is a pretty crucial part. He had the funding, so they had to listen to some things he said. Uh, I reckon, mm -hmm. I reckon he had a bunch of ideas that they didn't like, but because this guy was the. Uh, the uh, the guy funding all of it, they had to be like, oh well, go on then, go on. But you're saying yeah. that line, not me, and shit like that. Um, I, but in charge of writing anything, I I don't know, I don't know. But um, Ko Gaming, do you think he should like go back to that now? Like even if he could find the writer to do, to do it for him. Um, is there something that KO Gaming had that you think he should go back to? I'll tell you one thing, it was actually better than his gameplay because it actually showed some gameplay. It actually lets you know about the game. Okay, yeah. And and his, his like, thoughts. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people actually go to, to reviews for. They... They don't want to sit there and watch a 
30 hour game you know gameplay session i just to hear just to hear mm, i think it's good i do remember um there were a couple people i uh, talked to previously would say oh they would go to phil to find out about games back in the past he was quite a, an entertaining place to go if you wanted to know about a game um but yeah. that, that was then but that that was back when he was passionate and he was hard like he was just starting to make money mm -hmm. on youtube yeah and he he, he I kind of want to say he was a fun drunk back then, right? Because a lot of a lot of his gameplay was him just being shit faced drunk or something, playing a game. Hmm. And even you know, even if it was back then, and you could get away with you know with saying a lot of shit, he was actually legitimately having fun, right? That's it, yeah. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people were saying. He was having fun. That's sure, important. he was drunk most of the time doing it, but he was having fun doing it. Yeah. And that was, that was like, the, the important part and what I think a lot of people, you know, saw. Of course. That's important. You have to, when they're having fun, you can feel it through the camera. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's magnetic, but um, something changed. Something down the line. Money. Yeah. Click on the ads. Yeah. Click on the ads. That changed everything. <laughs> the moment that he said, "Click on the ads and participate," it was over. Oh well, uh, he seems to know what he's doing now. And uh, I don't think he will ever go back. He, what he's doing now is emulating all the people he hates. Um, one by one. Like, I think next he'll dye his hair. Um, well, oh, I'm God. just joking. Dye his hair blue. Uh, that's his next no, option. No, dye his hair pink. Then he could be the piggy. He needs to dye it before it disappears. He needs to do something. Uh, oh, speaking of which. Yeah. Um, real quick, mm -hmm. just to go off subject for a quick second, this is still about Phil, but have you seen the picture? I think it was Phil Collins, uh, on Twitter mm -hmm. posted of, um, the old, one of, the, uh, Phil's old haircuts. Is that and a it was literally the back of his neck and he had a huge chunk of hair on the back of his neck still there. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, damn, that barber hated Phil. Why is there hair on the back of his neck still? Well, speak, <laughs> speaking of barber, who's cussing his hair now? Because they must hate him as well. Uh, move on, move on. Next question. If DSP made every detractor disappear, what would happen to him? Um, how would things visibly change? People would just change? forget about him. People would forget about him. Mm. Honestly, we're keeping him afloat, if yeah. anything. Agreed. Um, Look how many viewers he has on his streams compared to how many viewers he has outside of his streams. There's, uh, it was one detractor that made him go viral this week. So, um, you know. Really? Oh, um, well, according to her claim, Emery, she uh, went on there yesterday or today saying that it was, she had a YouTube video saying that it was her TikTok post that made Phil go viral. Um, the one I was talking about. Um, That's that TikTok post I was talking about earlier. Yeah, uh, but um, what I'm saying is, Without us doing things like that, you're right. Um, people wouldn't see him. Um, mm -hmm. It would just be him and his dents. Uh, and the one person paying him. So mm -hmm. so if the tractors disappear, 
and that one person stops paying him. Do you think that would be the end for him? I don't think it would be the end for him. Because he would still have, you know, whatever few dents he has. And then, of course, um, Ryan. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll still have those people. But, but the question is, but but the question is, you know, how how long would that even last? Yeah. Where do you go after that? Like, without the tractors, he has no drama. He has no um, nothing to complain about, and mm -hmm. it's just gonna be him falling asleep. The uh, audience falling asleep. Uh, when they fall asleep, they forget to use their credit cards. Um, yep. Oh. Uh, he, uh, yeah, ultimately needs the tractors. Uh, do you think he's accepted that? Do you think he will ever accept that? No. Because hmm. he still has it. But, he know he like he knows it, but he still can't accept it. Yeah, yeah. Is DSP genuinely happy to be with Cat? Is she even there? I, I don't think so. I excuse, excuse me. I would argue that if he really loved her as much as he says he does, he would find more time to be with her. He would. Uh, Turn yeah. around and say, hey, look, let's spend the day together. Let's do something, just me and you and the sun. Um, or put the sun in a home for a week and go go to Barbados. Go do something. Uh, randomly mean, take time off, you know? I mean, the tire, the tire situation already pretty much clued you off. He doesn't really <laughs> give a shit about it. <laughs> I mean, he could have... He could have just said, I have an emergency. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Yeah. It needs to be taken care of. But no, he stayed there for an extra like 10 or 15 minutes explaining. I know. Why he has to leave. I know. He did the same thing he did with Panda. I know. Like, every chick that this dude is with and they have an emergency that needs... That they need help with at that exact moment. This motherfucker is off dicking around talking to his chat for another 20 minutes. It's almost like... Before he's, e be before he's even out... Before he even turns off the stream. Who knows how long it takes him to get out the fucking door. It's almost like he has to tell us that, hey, there are things that go on in my life. I do do stuff mm -hmm. IRL. I do... um. Things do happen for me when I'm not streaming. So he he took an example from her, something that happened to them, made it feel like such a chore to deal with. Um, told us about it, like, oh god, I'm so inconvenient. Like it was our business, but yet it's not our business. Right. But then again, at the same time, it's our business. These are things like, that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't, you know. We just do it because that's what that's what adults do. But when he, you know, when something happens around him, it's it's weird. Like we have to know about it. We have to feel like, oh, poor guy. Like, why is that? Why can't he just go and do the thing? No, then then he also had to turn around and said she worked at the mall. Uh, can, now, if he was a that pra that 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 practically said he knew he knows there's people out there that are smart enough to look around at shit mm -hmm. and figure shit out. Why are you going to tell your chat? When you know there's a bunch of people 
that w that are just foaming at the mouth for every little for any little bit of information. Yeah. That they can get on your personal life. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say your wife works at the mall. He needs reasons for like okay, he drops bait left, right, and center for these people to track down so that he can come back and tell you, you see guys, they all they're all after me. They're all out to get me. Um Again, without detractors, he has nobody he can say that to. Um, right. But um, what I would say is, if he was a dad, if he was a father, he would spend two hours telling you how, how inconvenienced he was just to change a diaper. I can imagine it. He would be like, oh, guys. He is, he, but he is a father. Didn't you know? Jasper is a son. Fuck that business. Um, that's the closest he'll ever get to that, thankfully. But no, he doesn't know what it is to be a dad, and uh, I hope it stays. He's already that said way. he don't even want kids. He said that on multiple occasions. He, he says that, but all it takes is one night of gin and uh, working erection, and uh. Um. You, you my question know. is, do they even sleep in the same room? Um. If cat, if cat is there, if I'm Kat's I'm there. count I'm countering your question with my question. Yeah, I, <laughs> if cat's there, I I don't know. I I think she disappears during the day, and uh, uh, she's like fuck this, and then waits for him to fall asleep and uh, sneaks in. Um, if she's there at all, but yeah, uh. Cause, cause in my opinion, um, I don't think they sleep in the same room because every time he has mentioned, uh, about him and Kat sleeping, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much been like him in a different room or some shit like that, or they go to bed at totally different times. Yeah, sounds... Well, we already know they go to bed at totally different times. Look at Phil's 3 a.m. gin tweets. Which he can't um, deny. He, um, mm -hmm. as, as busy as this man is, he needs to sleep. Yet, somehow, he's up all hours of the day on his phone. Uh, just nosy, watching the detractors. Um, yeah, he... Uh, He's a very active individual. Um, the one, the the one Jin tweet I'm st still trying to decipher to this day mm -hmm. is um, it, it it I think it's still a meme. I haven't seen it around the community for a while. Mm -hmm. But um, ha. Huh? That was the tweet. Ha. Huh? P a. Ha. Uh, ha. Huh. That was the tweet. Uh, huh. E A. Huh. E A. It what? was. It was just the. It was a picture of a table what? and a, a cough. It was a picture of a coffee table and pa. Pa. Like I'm still <laughs> trying to decipher this to this that to this day. Like what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, uh, like that's the only thing that Phil has done over the years that is. Still melting my mind to this day. Well, uh, I I will not look into it. I will skip that. Um. <laughs> it was after Panda left. It was after Panda left, and uh, Phil Phil had his 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 um naughty face shown. Oh, okay. It was it was one of his 3 a.m. gin tweets, and it just said "paw." Damn. <laughs> And it was a picture of a table. A Damn. coffee table. Damn. <laughs> okay, I never saw that. No. I, all right. I'm I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to uh, look back and see if I can find a picture of it for you. If but you no, can. I, yeah. I sh get you not. That that was a thing. Can and you... people were, for, for like a year, people were like, huh. <laughs> Just randomly, paw. Yeah, yeah. People would just randomly tweet, paw. 
I I don't know this law. Um, I would love to know <laughs> if you do find it. Please do. Um, don't go out yeah. of your way, but if you find it, yeah, I would love to see that. Oh no, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I could find it. I'll find it after we get done here. <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, let's move on from cats, and I'll ask you the uh, sixth question, which is. Craig and Adam were able to do something many have wanted to for years, which was talk yeah. to him and for free. Uh, did Phil hear anything they said to him? Not only for free, but they also made a lot of money off of him too. Monetize the haters. Um, yeah, yeah. I actually kind of like that. Uh, but I, no, um, the did Phil? Time, why didn't? Go on. Yeah. Yeah, it did get kind of old real fast, but um, did Phil hear anything? Mm -hmm. Question is, what they said or what Phil interpreted what they said? Panda's table, and he passed out typing it. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes! <laughs> he knows! He knows! He okay. knows! What? Okay. He was, okay, damn. He knows! <laughs> Oh shit! So yeah, that, that that that's what happened. I still want to know how the fuck he did that, but no. Um, <laughs> I I honestly don't think Phil heard a damn thing. No, they said unless it was a negative thing. Um, well, initially he said to them that nothing they did was negative. And yeah, then, but then he came back the next day after watching the stream again, or and, saying he watched it again. And then he said it, it was negative. Uh, um, like, how can you, how can you fucking bitch foot like that? He, his audience, I believe they all run to him and they say to him, "Hey, Phil, uh, those guys were making they fun." Were of you. Me, you. They would be mean to you. They would be mean to you. you. Yeah, yeah. They, they did the. They did the bad thing. It time goes. But no. <laughs> no uh, uh, yeah. It, it's, yeah. He listens to them. <laughs> and they uh -huh. they push him. They gaslight him. Um, and uh, he has to defend himself, you know. Uh, he has to cry to protect his family. And he has to defend his honor like a good little bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if not, I know I'm being negative, but that—that's the way I see it. So do I. So do I. Um, do you think anybody interviewing him would be able to get through to him? And if so, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. The, so on, the only the only time they would be able to get through to him is if they if they literally kissed his ass. I was just going to ask, how would they do it? How would they convince him to listen and listen to their advice and listen and understand that they are trying to help him? Like, he would really have to kiss his ass. Damn, that's a bridge too far. Um, yeah, this guy. Because the only the only person that actually the first person to actually get an interview recently, mm. other than Craig, um, the quartering. Yeah. We all we all saw how that interview went. Mm hmm Nothing, but ass kissing. Yeah. Nothing but ass kissing. Yeah, you know. Um. Uh, wh where is the quartering now? I, but we, 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 no, let's not talk about the quartering. Let's not. Yeah, what he did. Yeah. Uh, good luck to him um, for getting the interview. That's but... whatever. You can go pissed in your basement and right. Uh, have at that. That interview was the biggest waste of time. I. It's not worth even. Uh... Right, fuck it. Um... Yeah, he could just he could just go piss in his basement, <laughs> get drunk, and then he can stay over there. There you go. Uh, all right. So, question number seven. First off, thank you once again for um, 
taking part. I, I'm having much fun doing this, and uh, thanks to everybody watching. Um, I always have fun doing these with you, man. I likewise. No, I uh, no need to no need to thank me. I I I'm British. I I can't help doing that. Um, I know. I I would love to do more of these more over time. Um, I need to find more more uh, guests. Um, I'm a little bit shy to ask certain people. Like, I don't know why, but there are names that I've seen that I've gotten to know on Twitter and such that I hold in really high regard. And I just, Dude. I don't have the nerve to just be like, hey, like, would you honor me with your presence in an interview? I feel All like, right. who am I? But you know? Question. Yeah. Um, Question. Sorry. Go on. GTG has has promoted you heavily in the past. I know. Do I... you have his contact information? Do you have a way to get a hold of him? No, I did. But he um... he he. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some of my groups. I think I'm in a couple groups with. Now him. hold on a second. Wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask him to contact you. Wait. I a would minute. love Yeah, go on. I would love to see Sunspot GTG. Now nah, hey. I would Let's love make that it too. Happen. I I We will discuss this after the show. I but once, for real. I remember you remember when I first did this? Remember that time when I had, I had you there, agent proper. Yeah, but you had James you had Alessa, you had uh, you I, had uh, you had a bunch of people and like it got out something, of control. Something 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 happened, but yeah. you had you had no control over it. Yeah, I know. I do. I do not. I do not blame you for that. You had no control. What happened? Um, it was all going fine, and then my laptop couldn't handle it, so I passed over the reins. Yeah. I was honored that the reins were accepted. I I, I invited GTG. Uh, he couldn't make it, um, but I'm yeah. glad he I'm glad he couldn't because it was a shit show. Um, yeah, arguments happened, and it fucked with my confidence for months after that. So I couldn't do it. Now that I'm doing it, yeah, I. To to ask but, GCG on, I I it would I'd love to do that, but I feel like I haven't earned my uh, stripes yet. Does that make sense? GCG uh, like more, he's like a fucking celebrity to me. I you've more and dude. Yeah. How do you think I feel? This is a sitting fucking here, This is a celebrity sitting here chatting right? with. Stop! You. Stop right there! This is stop this is right my there. celebrity stop, moment here. Stop right there! I, every my... every time every every time I get to talk to to people like you, yeah, and and um, Secret Unlimited, I feel like that dude in um, what was it? Uh, uh, the the Marvel Universe, Rick Jones, that just that just hangs out with all the heroes. Yeah, he you... just hangs out. I, but, but that is my moment, dude. Go for your moment. But uh, uh, no, go look, for your not, moment. It's not just GTG. It's several people. Uh, Sci-Fi Mary is another name that comes to mind. There are names I hold in real high regard. That mm -hmm. they've been around. They know shit, and I feel like, yo, I've seen their names. I've spoken to them. They've supported me. They've and I'm pretty sure they would love to come on. You are great to talk uh, to. I, I and I'm not. I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. I'll pay you the five the whole, bucks. All like these, stuff. all these, all these. You ain't getting shit. <laughs> Look, stop. But right, no, but no. Stop. But right no. There. I. Me, me and you. Me and you have been talking for like how long? Years. Me and you have been chatting back and forth for year for for a few years now. Yeah. And every time the conversations have been great. It was you that told me to buy this PC, and here we are. Uh, there you go. Um, uh, look, look, listen, listen. 
Okay, I've lost track of what I was going to say. Massive derail, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me just check the chat and uh, change the uh, subject. Uh, so, um, <laughs> that's that's disappearing from the edit. Right. So, uh, uh, no, it's not. Keep it going. Shh. Look. All right, all right. Let's do this. There are those. <laughs> there are those I want to ask. I need to. I need more guests. Um, <clears throat> right. If anybody listening, uh, any time of the day you're ready and you're able to, I'll make you know. I'll work around the time you're free. I'm happy to do that because it's an honor to be able to speak to you. Um, I'd be honored if you could join in and share your knowledge. Um, this is educational for me. This is fun for me. And, uh, yeah, if you're listening, uh, I, let's fucking go. Um, but until then, hit this man up. Shush. But until then, <laughs> until then, look, I don't want to cut into that being said time. Hold on. We've got half an hour. <laughs> We could we could knock these out. <laughs> Number seven. If Phil accepted right, if Phil accepted an interview with any detractor, which one would you choose and why? Oh man, there's a lot of good ones. Um, I. Oh shit. I know, right? There's a lot I want to see. Mm -hmm. Um. And a couple of good, like, Gundam, Gundam would be a fun one, but. Feels too it good would, for him. Mm, no, it's, I would Gundam go, would tear him a new hole. I would pick Anli. Like, no doubt, like, Gundam would obliterate Phil. Gundam. In an, in an interview. Gundam's in it for the lulls. Gundam. Yeah. He, I think he would be serious and take it where it needs to go, but at the same time, I think he would pull back and just be like, mm, I like what? I like what uh, uh, Serpent Hunter just said. Same. Uh, Agent Proper. Same. Agent, Agent Proper. Proper is a good one. Um, and uh, the, GTG. Uh, GTG. Um, Tevin. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think Tevin would have Te the patience Te to deal with I this think, motherfucker. I, th I think he would be able to, to an extent. I think if, if he was, if if he was able to control the interview the way he, he wants wanted to, he has that mentality where he could just control the situation. It, it would be interesting. It would be entertaining. I I don't know. I feel like. like I feel like Tevin. Bugging it and loving it with Tevin and Dark Side <laughs> Phil. Let's go. I think Tevin would do what I would want to do, which is kick my monitor or something that, with this idiot. I don't know. I don't know. I think Tevin... I, I don't know. I can't really picture it. But, um, yeah, he'd be one of my suggestions too, I guess. Um, the way I can, because he is, he is Phil's... Nemesis. He is a, in, he he was an actual fan of Phil's. Okay, he was yeah. an actual viewer of Phil's. Yeah. So I would like to see, you know, that kind of conspire. Like, what would an actual fan who ended up being a detractor? Mm. How would that interview? Interesting. Go? Uh, that's the way that's the kind of interview i would love to see i hear that that makes sense um because they kind of they kind of know his bullshit mm -hmm. and they would be able to call out on that bullshit and these were people that woke up like one minute mm -hmm. they liked him and the next you know yep they, they would I, have more I, to I, say I, um yep I, I, that's the kind of interview i would more than you know love to see but if i was to choose a detractor it would probably you know fall in the lines of you know what we just 
you know, mm -hmm. the names that we just mentioned, Proper, GTG, uh, Tevin. Yeah. Okay. You know, just people like that. Um... People who, who, who would be able to control the situation, have fun with it, and, you know, still get to the, you know, the, the points that we, we need to hear. Why is DSP so concerned about graphics over gameplay, being a, a real gamer? He just wants things to look pretty. Well, he should take his wife to the gym. I mean, I mean, no, I, why? But no, but no, for real, like, he would rather have a game like something that uh, Quantic Dream would make. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something that looks really good, really cinematic. Fahrenheit. No gameplay. Um... Next to no gameplay. But... But he complains anyway. He'll just get... He'll say he's bored of it. Uh, it's either yeah. not original enough, or it's too original. Or... He's picky. He's, he, he, he's super picky. But how on earth can Even... he afford to be picky if he's going to eat lunch meat sandwiches tomorrow? Why not just like any fucking game that's put in front of you, being a gamer, and just enjoy it? You know? Oh. Right? I don't want to play this game. I'm going to skip it. Dude? Really? Skip If you don't want to play it, then don't play it. You know, that, that's right. That that's that that's my <laughs> thought process. Like, if I was a streamer, I'm going to play the games that I enjoy playing. Exactly. I am going to play the games that I find interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not just about graphics. You know, it. Mm -hmm. A game is a good game, regardless. I still love uh, Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to play it again on stream. Uh, I don't have a Switch, so I can't play that version, but I'm happy with the original, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And that game, it, classic Nintendo goodness. But to this guy, like, the king of retro, He's so concerned with 60 frames per second and, and, and uh, buttery smooth bullshit. How can you be so elitist like that? Why are you so... He, he can't be considered... He's, he's a delusional he's a elitist. He's a dickhead. But no, he, no, no, he, 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 here, here's, here's my opinion on what he is he's a delusional elitist and here's here's why i say that remember when he uh first got the la that new laptop <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying oh my laptop's overheating because all the graphics from my playstation is going into my computer <laughs> it's overpowering my cpu he only learned recently so f <laughs> like wasn't it like that a month is ago? as delusional as you can fucking get a month ago guys i've redirected everything to my uh gpu now uh guys uh split load uh what was it i forget exactly but he he has no idea no idea um it just amazes me like that he can't like a game just for the game why does it have to fit this uh why does it have to pass this graphics test before he will touch it i have no, no clue like he considers people like maximilian and justin wall mm -hmm. to be elitist i don't see them as elitist. Hell, even Maximilian has even went on to say, I might sound elitist, mm -hmm. but trust me, I'm not. <laughs> He's, he just literally said, this is my own opinion. 
Yeah. And left it at that. But he 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 also brings up a lot of valid concerns. Mm. So in a way he has an elitist mentality because of the you know because of the uh validity or the validity. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound like Phil, so I apologize if I butchered that word. Dude, I come don't on. Talk much. <laughs> None of but us no, sound like um, him. Nobody sounds like him. But but um the the validity <laughs> um you can't even try you still don't sound like yeah it. i know hey. well <laughs> <laughs> um but no matt the only reason why i would consider max to be an elitist is because he brings up a lot of valid points in a lot of his discussions and he has a lot of passion when he's talking about that this is what i wanted to say are you elitist if you love what you're doing and you put the work in and you just happen no. to right this is what happens with no haters. you just you just have a passion this is what happens with haters i've had my fair share of haters all my life right just because oh i turned my my attention to something and i wanted to build on it and i wanted to you know progress and get somewhere with it and because i did that made me this, that made me that. Now, because Phil over here is lazy as fuck, that makes every single one of us an elitist when you think about it. Like, oh, I learned how to do use transitions on Streamlabs. This guy can't. Uh, that makes me a fucking elitist, really. Because I spend time learning how to use OBS. Uh, maybe because you wanted, you wanted to learn how to use the program well. Yeah, I, I enjoy using it. I enjoy messing with it. Um, wanted to make the program work. Yeah. That's not elitist. That's just learning the trade. And I argue that Max enjoys what he's doing. It's not a job to him because he loves it. Uh, that doesn't make him elitist. He's just successful at what he's doing and he's having fun. Be happy for him. You know? And he's gotten so successful at it that he's actually had actual video game companies, you know, have him do trailers for them. Exactly. Max's... The only reason Max's name is on the credits of killer instinct is because he has actually done promotional work for them mm -hmm. and his voice is actually in one of the songs well, that's what happens when you're nice to people right exactly you get opportunities yeah it's nice to be nice i'm looking yes. at phil right now when i say that it's nice to be nice bitch. <laughs> yep she is mm-hmm she uh, <laughs> uh, um anyway anyway next question right number 10 11 11 wait yeah 11 <laughs> 10 because uh, we haven't done any video games that are still fan oh yeah uh, yeah number 10 sorry number 10 i'm paying attention <laughs> good shit good shit thank you um is there any video game that you love that you saw him play. Was he good at it? <laughs> this was an easy one. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned it last time I was on. Um, Persona 3. Ah. Uh, uh. Persona 3. Was he... Uh... We all seen how it went down. I didn't. He rage quit. He rage quit? The oh. final boss. I say that like I'm surprised. He rage quit? He rage he, he he rage quit the final boss. There's a song out there um that um uh, uh a former detractor has made. Uh that being said, or WPIG mm -hmm. uh airs it every now and then. Okay. Uh I believe his name is D.W. Crowley. 
Uh-huh. He has done some uh, some really good, really good parody songs. Okay. And um, one of the ones that he has done, he literally used the audio mm-hmm. from when Phil Rage quit the final boss, Nyx, of Persona 3. Right. And it's one of the funniest and cringiest bits because he literally sounded like a fucking baby <laughs> when he rage quit. Jesus. He quit that boss so hard that if it were me, I I I would have taken a break. Because what the boss was doing is it was charming everybody in the party. Okay. And what charming does is it works like um, confusion. Yeah. In any RPG, confusion makes you attack or heal, or in this instance, heal your opponent. That rings a bell. It sounds familiar. And and every time Phil would do a significant amount of damage. Mm-hmm. The boss would turn around, cast charm on everybody, which in turn made everybody cast their highest heal spell, their strongest heal spell on the boss. Oh, okay. And he rage quit that boss so fast. There was an easy way that you could just nullify all that. That sounds familiar. And it pissed me off that he quit that and not only did he rage quit quit it which you know just pissed me off it was also a viewer's choice reward oh shit so people paid him money to sit there for months to play this game only for him to rage quit the final boss well you know he went a long way uh you played most of it but he did come back later on and beat the boss with chat's help but Uh, still it was years it was years later it was like a few years later (laughs) it was a few years later he literally just he didn't restart the game he just booted up the save she okay and started at the boss he needed closure okay the car it took him a few years to beat that game and that pissed me off was Damn. he good at it hell no because he had chat holding his hand the entire time mm-hmm. i don't blame him for playing it on easy because yes <laughs> that game is hard <laughs> That game gets hard. It was uneasy. Okay. He, they pay, I don't wait, blame. Wait, wait I do minute. not. I do not. I do not blame him for needing no, the no. extra ten. No. I do not. I do not blame him for needing the extra ten continues. But hold on the a minute. The extra ten auto relives. They, I do not blame him. That but, game gets hard. Look, they paid him to play on easy. The chat actually told him to play on easy. Uh, yes, I, I'm not. I'm not shitting you. Actually, ch- I, I'm. I'm. I will back Phil up on this one because <laughs> chat actually did tell him to play on easy. I can see Serpent onto cringing right now, but like, I mean, they, they, but yes, chat did tell Phil to to play on easy damn. because it. One, it's not a game that he's used to. Still. Persona, Persona is, it, Persona is complex in a sense. Yeah. But yet, if you have, it, but if you have the basic RPG knowledge, mm-hmm. you know, the, the basic Final Fantasy knowledge, you're fine. <laughs> if you know about status effects and, and the basic shit on how to get rid of them, you're fine. Okay. Uh I, I can't really think, like, for me, he's played many games I like or I loved. And every single one of them, it's like, when he touches that game, he makes me not want to play it again. Whether it's 
Streets of Rage, Resident Evil. Um, oh, the Surf Owner got me on that one. Everything except <laughs> Tekken. When he touches the game, he makes the game unappealing to me. Like he stains it. Um, I don't know yeah. why that is. He has that effect. Like most he recently, sits there and talks. Uh, sorry, most recently he, he, he played. He, 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 go on. Oh, go, my bad. Go oh, right oh, ahead. Thanks. Um, he played Resident Evil most recently. Uh, of the games I like, and he made the, it the new one, the uh, remake of the first one. Okay. And uh, he made that game last so fucking long. I remember he started it. I left. I came back two hours later, and he was still in the first area. And I'm thinking, like, you could beat that game in a few hours, Nick. Like, I have seen people beat that game in like less than three hours. You don't have to tell me this. You don't. I saw this idiot playing these this game for days. Right? I was stopped by. He's still playing it. I would leave. I come back, he's still playing it. And he makes me hate the game that I've enjoyed for years just by touching it. It's, I, I don't know why that happens. I don't know what magic he's doing, but it's ugly. I'd, Fuck I'd like to see him go back and play Resident Evil 2 Remake again. I'd like to see him fall I wanna, off the I, 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 I want to I see how fast he can he can get through it because i've i've actually beat that game and gotten like a completion time on, on normal mind you mm. of like under uh, under three hours baby shit um let, let, let's move on let's move on i'm getting angry uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> number 11 if you are i'm gonna need to take a hit but i'm gonna wait uh, okay, okay. Um, if you were a fly on Phil's wall, what would you want to see inside that house? Where would you like to... Jasper. Jasper. I just want to see Jasper. Jasper is like the only saving grace in that house. Interesting. Yeah, people... I like cats. Yeah, I love cats. I like cats. cats. Yeah. I love them. I, I had one myself. And I think after... You know, eventually I sad to think of it. You know, my 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 little doggy passes. I don't want to think about it. I will get a cat. Mm -hmm. But that's 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 super off in the future. I hear that. That's that's something I don't want to really consider right now. But I really do want to get a cat. Okay, so just Jasper, you wouldn't want to see the base, like the, uh, the garage, you wouldn't want to go and... That garage is going to be dirty, mm -hmm. cluttered, Every, yeah. I have a feeling a lot of places in that house is cluttered. Would you want to check his phone, uh, look at the mail, uh, check... If out... anything, I'll probably look over his shoulder while he's playing champions for a split second. Speaking of which... He nearly let slip the other day. I was watching Dominic's stream. Uh, big ups to Dominic. And somebody asked him if he had a Steam Deck. And he, he was like, I have... And then he cut himself off and said, I don't have the money for one. I'm thinking... If he has you, one. If you were a fly on if the wall, you would see a Steam Deck in there. He... If... We've already caught him in, in his little, little verbal slip -ups. slips. Yeah. Yeah. The only the only thing the only slip up that I I won't I, I'm still confused about is calling cat mom. <laughs> that uh we don't have enough time to talk about that. But I would love yeah, to. Yeah, that, that's that's a different, that's a whole different discussion. Uh, Dominic and I, sorry, Dominic and I talked about that previously, but I, it's a great topic. I would love to uh, elaborate oh, on. Oh, secret! What's up? Secret and Steam. Welcome. Welcome. And, and it's Steam. It's Steam Deck. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, str- the you know, I know he the thing a... that you got and they're bragging about playing Street Fighter Six on in the morning, buddy. Oh, shit. Uh, secret, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for the shout out earlier. Um, uh, before we go, before we go, uh, thanks to everyone for attending the stream. Thank you for listening and hanging out. Thank you to Killer for joining me. This is fun as always. And uh, let's get to the last question. The ultimate question. We're going to go to that being said after. But before then. Oh, yeah. Has DSP taught you anything? Now, this is... How not to be a shit. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Like, like for real. I've, I've had... I've actually had moments where I'm sitting there thinking about being toxic as fuck. And then you see this And then guy. I'm like, and then, and I'm, and then someone, you know, the next Twitter thing I see on Twitter is of Phil being toxic as fuck. And I'm just sitting there like, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, like for real. If, if anything, Phil has taught me, like literally taught me, it's, to just not be a shit. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's true. That's true. That's my first thought as well. Also, not to uh, carry uh, anything metallic in lightning. Um, Boy, I heard about that. <laughs> uh, that. To uh, shower daily. To uh, yeah. exercise and uh, eat fruit and vegetables. Um, well, Phil, Phil didn't teach me the whole shower daily thing. <laughs> that was my mom. That was my mom from from like the day day one. Like, I'm glad you stepped in. O- when always you g- giving me giving me a bath every day. Phil has not taught me how to take a bath every day. What I mean to say is, looking at him, I want you people to understand. Look at him. This is what happens to you when you don't do these things, right? Mm-hmm. This is look at the guy. He's so white on my screen, dude. Enjoy sunlight. Um, be happy. Love the one you're with. Um, what he's taught me is essentially the same thing. Just don't be like him. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I actually saw a picture of Phil yesterday and thought he had a tan, like a slight tan. No And then way. just realized the picture was just slightly dark. <laughs> because the back ro- the background was, like, either his light wasn't, like, bright enough. He just looked like he had a slight tan. He looked <laughs> darker than usual. But then I looked at the background and was like, oh, the background is just slightly dark. He, he Never mind. Have, he was in Cat Shadow. <laughs> She, you know. Oh God. She, uh, she was across the street, and suddenly, <laughs> uh, yep, eclipse. Uh, too easy. Um, Look out! She's backing up. That's a huge bitch. Uh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. That's we're mean. Stop being mean. Chris, welcome to the stream. Where'd the sun go? I don't know. It's an eclipse. Nope. It's just that big bitch over there. Uh, um. Um. On that note, guys. Get Earl! Guys, <laughs> you've been listening to <laughs> Pig Splaining uh, with myself, Sunspot, and once again, the awesome, the amazing Killer Chronic. Thank you, thank you. Uh, when am I doing this again? I don't know. When are we doing this again? I don't know. But, um,. I enjoy doing this so much. I enjoy having you guys here listening and joining in. Um, but I'll try to be back as soon as I can with another episode. I don't have one planned. I was ill. I had to take a break. Oh, Go on. I got to tell your chat something real quick. Tell if him. you're not going to tell them. Tell them what? Um, what? Huh? Earlier before the uh, show started. Oh. Supposedly. What? Me and Serpent Hunter talked... Uh, Sunspot into getting a certain fighting game. Oh, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> uh, we had a little discussion about this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
How I challenge people. I I I I love Street Fighter. I want to challenge some people. I'm in. And you bought it. I'm in. You bought it. I'm in. You bought it. I'm in. I've already challenged like uh, Serpent Hunter already already accepted challenges. Yeah. So whoever, whoever is let, getting let Street me, Fighter Six. Let me work on my. Guy I would. On. I would like. I would like to send out invitations on this show, guys. Uh, For whenever we do this, I would love to fight all you guys. I would love the chance to play all you guys. Same, same. Count me in. Uh, I will uh, work on my guile and uh, I include me in that. I, everybody, everybody. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so you've been watching, he explaining with us. I will allow you all to leave thank you very much for your time uh killer chronic thank you again for being here thank you for uh so much fun doing this and um oh not an issue i love i, I love these chats man ditto they're they're always great um until next time take care everybody and uh have a good day and enjoy secrets video later um, oh yes, I'm uh, ready for that. So am I, dude. So am I. Uh, I am ready for that. Other than that, we have nothing else to say except see you. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, peace. Have fun. Yeah. Peace out. Toodles. 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 Bye. Be mum. <laughs> <laughs>